everyone, welcome to AA's Team Series. In this video, I'll be showing you how potential energy can be converted into kinetic energy using elastic bands. This is sort of a continuation from my previous video, but this time I'll be explaining it in way more detail. So, this is the most important point. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, it can only be changed from one form to another. The unit of energy is called joules. So, in my previous video, I explained to you about potential kinetic energy, but this, like I told you, it's a lot more detailed. So, this is it. Energy can be classified as potential energy or kinetic energy. Potential energy is the energy in a body due to its position. So, Potential energy is basically when it's still. It's not moving or anything, just there. So basically, if I sit like this, it's basically potential energy. Because there, I was not moving. So basically, then kinetic energy means the kinetic energy is the energy in a body due to its motion. So if I'm just woofing around like this, I just spin around this chair a lot. That's basically kinetic energy. So it's basically the energy of motion. Catapults can be used for two things. One, to aim at a target, which you can find right here. And two, to launch it into a bowl. So you're not firing it at something, but you are launching it at the ground or in a pool of some sort, and you can find that right here. So let's get started. So the first one is actually going to be quite basic. So all you'll need is 11 popsicle sticks. So make a stack of nine, and then take a rubber band and loop it around until it's quite tight. Then, you can take one popsicle stick and slide it underneath the bottom one. So it's like this, just separate it, and there should be one here. Just place it, slide all of these back on top. Bring it to the middle, and that should be good. So above there. Now, use another rubber band to make it nice and tight. So this one is actually quite basic. So yeah. To look like this. So let's bring this to the middle actually. And there. Now take another one and place it on top like this. So now what you're doing is taking a small rubber band and putting it like this. like so and now guess what you're done if you want to get a spoon or get a hot glue gun put, some, put a little dot right there and add a cap and you're practically done so this has like a lot of power so if you do this that come up to the base nice and sturdy and that's actually quite powerful so we're done with catapult number one and now, this one is a bit more complex. Or way more complex, actually. So, you'll need about 11 popsicle sticks, but this is a bit more than a, this is way more than 11, actually. It's 100. 
Yeah. Yeah, 100 popsicle sticks. And 16 rubber bands. So first, let's make an X. Let's take two popsicle sticks, cross them, like so. So let's do this way. Let's take one rubber band. They are the same. Not bad, actually. So those two steps were quite easy. Now this is basically the same thing. So for this one, you'll need four popsicle sticks. And the four, four rubber bands. Two, three, the one that is an okay size. Let's see, let's see. Would you call that an okay size? <laughs> okay, I feel like the back's throwing up there. Uh, there we go. So these are almost the same size rubber bands. Now, so I'm trying to make a square. So we're gonna have to do this but make sure there's a big of gap so it should be like this a 90 degree angle so it's basically a right angle like so now take your rubber band look like this a square so as you can see I made a square and this cross like so and then we made two so there's has to be two on each side so now let's put this on the outside like this so it should be like this, not on the inside. If you want, it could be on the inside, but I prefer it on the outside. Cause I think it's much easier with it on the outside than on the inside. So, I wanna tell you that these two have to be poking out. Well, this is why you need it. Okay, it should look like this. Soon it's gonna be like this. Okay, so now we're going to make this one, the one that goes across on the bottom. Like that, make sure you can stretch it, like that, and then pull it around, so this came from behind, and then do that. So what I did is basically make a lot of loops and then make sure it was stretchy. And then I pulled that loop, right? So it's like this. I pulled the loop behind here. And then I made a hook on to this. And your design will look like this. As you can see, once this connects, it'll stand up straight. Now, we're gonna make one on the top. So we're gonna take another one. There. And, we're 
going to make this stick lean back onto this one. So, this is the front, right? We're going to make it lean back. This is the front side. We're going to make it lean back on the back one, like that. So basically, we did this. Now all we need to do is add a popsicle stick right down the middle. So now, this is what's going to happen. So this is the front, this is the back. So this popsicle stick is going to go behind the top one and in front of the bottom one like this okay now we need a lot of rubber bands and if it's thick it's good because you only need one and i hope we're done are we done why am i struggling so first you have to do this so you're basically going to take the end of the popsicle stick that's poking out and put a rubber band through. Then you see these two, I don't know, things that poke out. These two, just stretch it around. And I think I'm just going to use one more just to make it a bit better. So basically, I'm taking one rubber band from the bottom, stretching it from under here like that, and then from the top, we are going to put one right here and one there, and now, now we are done. A pow. Yeah, pow. Three, two, one. That's not supposed to happen. Catapult launched itself. Well, actually, it didn't. So, there we go. That just feels so good. You're done with the catapult. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Give a like if one of these catapults really impressed you. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And sharing is caring. So see you later. Stay tuned. Till then, bye bye.